Good evening, good evening, good evening. Tonight I'm doing a top five list of an author I haven't read in some time, but I used to be very fond of, Robert McKimmon. So Robert McCammon is an author I discovered, I guess, in my late teens, early 20s, and I read pretty much all of his books. Uh, he is a horror author. Uh, he's along the same lines as Stephen King, Dean Koontz, those type of people. I think he's one of the better writers in that genre. And rather than do a review of one of his books, I thought I'd go through and give you my top five because, as I said, I've read almost all of them, at least uh, until – uh, within the last few years, he's written some more. I haven't read those, but all the ones he wrote up until that point, I have read. So here we go. Here's my top five list. Do not be distracted by the television that's on behind me. That's not important to this review. Number one, mine. M-I-N-E. No, it's not about digging coal out of the ground. This is a tale of a psychopathic woman who really wants a baby, and so she decides she's going to have one by any means, any means necessary, including theft. Uh, unlike a lot of McCammon's novels, this one has no supernatural elements in it. It's just a crazy person, but it happens to be my favorite of his. He does a really good job of making it terrifying. He weaves hallucinations into the narrative because the woman is insane. And so uh, you get her hallucinations and you don't realize it's a hallucination until after it's over. So uh, I think that's very effectively done. And the whole, you know, I can only imagine if you're a mother reading this book, how terrifying it must be. It was scary to me. The whole... Uh, children being separated from their parents uh, aspect of it and the, the unhinged nature of the protagonist and what she might do with the baby is very scary. So mine is my number one pick. Number two, The Wolf's Hour. The Wolf's Hour is about a secret agent during World War II who kills Nazis and who also happens to be a werewolf. I'm going to stop the review right there because if, if you're not hooked by that description, nothing I can say is going to convince you. Um, but it is awesome. It's as awesome as it sounds. You should read that one. Number three. Number three is a book called Usher's Passing. It's one of his earlier ones, although not earliest, and it's kind of based on the Edgar Allan Poe short story, The Fall of the House of Usher, and as you would expect, it has a lot of gothic elements, and it's all about, you know, these crumbling dynasties and these creepy old families and old mansions. It's very it's a, very much a throwback, and it does have some supernatural elements. I lo This was the first book of his I read, and I really liked the atmosphere of it. I think it's quite a good one. Number four, Speaks the Nightbird. Um, this is the last book that I read of Robert McCammon's. Uh, he wrote it, and I believe went on a long writing hiatus after he wrote it. I can't be bothered to look up what happened. There was some kind of disagreement with his publishing company or something. He retired from writing for about 10 years. I'm too lazy to look up the details. You can look them up if you're interested. But Speaks the Nightbird is a very long period piece, historical fiction, um, about witch trials and about uh, a witch hunter. And I think it's very well done. It's one of his more mature pieces. And it's uh, got a lot of historical detail. Obviously, a lot of research went into it. And it's uh, it's not so much – it's a little bit scary, but it's not horror in the same vein as his earlier work. It's more mature than that. But it does have witches, and witches are always fun. Number five. Number five, I picked um, – rather than a novel, I picked Blue World, which is a collection of short stories. And as regular viewers of my channel will remember, I am a huge fan of short stories, and I think they work very well in genre fiction like horror and science fiction. So uh, I picked Robert McCammon's anthology of short stories, Blue World. It's got a lot of different styles in there. It's got a lot going on, and it's a good uh, little bite-sized taste of his style of writing and whether you like it or not. He has many other books. I'm not going to get into the rest of them. Those are my top five, but if you like those, you'll like all the rest. Uh, one of the things I do like about McCammon is he kind of mixes up his styles a bit. So he has science fiction books. He has horror books. He has some – like uh, he wrote one book called Boy's Life, which is just sort of a – uh, coming of age story. It doesn't really have any horror in it. Um, so he, he doesn't stick to one predictable genre. He moves around a lot. And I like that about him. So those are my top five. I hope you'll check him out and see what you think. If you like that kind of writing, kind of mass market paperback uh, horror writing, I think he's one of the better ones in the genre. 
check it out. I've been Logan Albright. That's the TV behind me. If you like this content, please like and subscribe the video. Leave me comments in the comment section. And check out my own writing on Amazon.com. You might like to buy some of it. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a little money. Awesome. I'll see you next week. Have a good one.